Well, flames devour a Jefferson Township home in just minutes, killing a woman and her dog. This is cell phone video of that fire that erupted late last night. Tonight, the victim has been identified as 62-year-old Michelle Crossley. The state fire marshal is now investigating. This is the second deadly fire in just four days in Montgomery County. Tonight, we investigate just how fast flames can quickly consume your home. Elise Coulter joins us live with important information on how to protect yourself and, of course, your family. Elise. Deborah, the first line of defense is obvious, a smoke detector. Now, they're often your first and only warning to a fire, but as I learned today, what you have in your home is also a huge factor. These are two average-looking rooms that any one of us would recognize. A lamp, couch, and coffee table. So what's the difference? The one on the left has furniture made the way it was 40 years ago. Cotton fabric and real wood. The one on the right is full of modern-day furniture made from petroleum-based products. It's only a couple molecules away from gasoline. What does that mean? Watch carefully and keep an eye on the bottom of the screen. It used to be, you'd say, uh, every, every minute fire would double in size. Uh, we really don't have a good number for it now, but it's drastically reduced. So drastically reduced, the room on the right is fully engulfed in 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Flash forward and the room on the left takes 29 minutes and 25 seconds. Sometimes you have under 30 seconds to get out of the house before uh, you know, the, the corridor, egress corridor, your hallway is completely consumed in smoke and you're trapped. I was cooking some beef and all of a sudden flames just shot up. This homeowner would only talk to us if we didn't show her face. Back in November, her home was nearly caught on fire. The flames were touching the microwave that's above the stove. I mean, it was an instant. You, I mean, I had seconds to react or it would have spread quickly. In the midst of the chaos, her smoke alarm went off, alerting her son who grabbed the phone and ran out of the house and called 911. She credits her quick reaction to the early warning from the smoke detector and has advice for others. Make sure you change those batteries and don't be afraid to call I mean, we did not have fire, but they told us that we did the right thing. Better be safe than sorry. And many local fire departments, they do have free smoke detectors, but they only usually give them out to people who really need them and can't afford them. Now, they'll also often install them as well. For now, reporting live in the studio, Elise Coulter, ABC 22 News.